Conflicting reports of an alleged bomb or explosives dropped in the Black Sea in the path of a UK Navy destroyer by Russia. The Russians say they dropped kinetic deterrence near the Royal HMS Defender after the Royal Navy ignored Russian warnings that they were trespassing in Russian territorial waters as the ship sailed off the coast off Crimea ahead of some NATO exercises with Ukraine. Now, meanwhile, the British just deny any of this even happened, just flatly, point blank. This is the first time since the Cold War that Russia has used a hot weapon against Western intervention. So is this NATO provocation or is this simply a dispute over Crimea exiting Ukraine and joining the Russian Federation? So for analysis, former Pentagon official Mike Maloof will join us. So Mike, the big question here is, could there be a threat of kinetic war between Russia and NATO? <clears throat> yes, I think there can be. And uh, uh, Mr. Putin has uh, basically said that Crimea is a red line. Ukraine is a red line uh, with in terms of any kind of NATO effort to try to bring Ukraine into into the uh, Atlantic Alliance. You, but it's more than that. Uh, this this is uh, really an effort by NATO really to make the Black Sea a, a NATO sea. And and when you look at who who uh, who already is surrounding the Black Sea, Moldova, Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey. I mean, these are members of NATO. And they, then you have two wannabes, Ukraine and, and Georgia. Uh, that would then solidify uh, uh, NATO as, as, a, as a NATO Black Sea effort, all in an effort to contain uh, Russia. Yeah. And NATO uh, and the West know that Russia has laid claim to Crimea since 2014. Why would they conduct mm -hmm. those exercises there? And, and any coincidence that Russia would be unveiling and testing new hypersonic mobile ICBMs right now? Well, the, the, the reason is that uh, the, the uh, West does not recognize the annexation of Crimea by Russia. In fact, there was a, a referendum in Crimea that said they predominantly wanted to go uh, go with Russia, and that's what what occurred. As I understand it, even caught it even caught Mr. Putin off guard uh, when the uh, when people voted the way they did to want to be annexed to uh, uh, Russia. Uh, that said, the international community does not recognize that, and as as, as such. They uh, they still regard and, and 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 have and as the HMS Defender uh, uh, attempted to do was uh, go into those territorial waters, saying that they really are Ukrainian territorial waters, and that's when uh, the tensions really mounted up. And I think you're going to see continued provocations like this. Now there's going to be there's a Sea Breeze 2021 that's uh, underway right now for two weeks. Began today. Uh, it is a, a NATO exercise using Ukraine. Uh, they and and uh, perhaps uh, elements of Georgia. So the tensions are going to remain there. Uh, one one positive thing, I guess, from the Russian standpoint is that they can see how the military exercises are being conducted in order to really understand the tactics that are being used. But that's one of the downsides of uh, conducting such uh, 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 military exercises that the other side can see how you're doing it all. So that that's. Uh, that, that, that can work both ways. It's a double-edged sword, in effect. That's true. Uh, good point. The, the Royal Navy also knew full well where Russia stood yeah. on trespassing through these territorial waters. Uh, their initial denial of this is disproven in the classified documents left at the bus stop in Kent a few days ago, which were discovered by a mm -hmm. civilian and then turned over to the BBC. So listen to what one mm -hmm. MP had to say about it. But our frontline forces on HMS Defender, Mr. Speaker, were totally professional in dealing with aggressive Russian actions in the Black Sea last week. But they must be asking, what about our backup at the MOD when top secret documents about their mission, ahead of their mission, found their way to the back of this bus stop in Kent? All right, Mike, this document dump, deliberate, espionage, a leak? I mean, what do you make of it? 
Well, initially the MOD, the British MOD denied it, denied it, but now the fact that they have launched a, an intensive investigation on just what happened might suggest that uh, they are authentic. Uh, I, I think it, it could have been just someone who, uh, an employee who just dropped uh, uh, the documents, left them somewhere, and that's happened before. Uh, we, we've, all, we've always had uh, security uh, breaches in the past ourselves, so this is not, not unusual. But the fact is now they, they probably are authentic based upon the fact that the UK wants to, is investigating intensively how this happened. But it did show that uh, the documents apparently did show that uh, uh, the, and, 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 and regarded the question of, well, what happens if we go into these territorial waters? What will be Russia's response? <laughs> so they knew full well what they were getting into before they even broached territorial waters. And I think uh, Moscow made it very clear that you're in Russian territorial waters. Stay out. But once again, you're going to see yeah. a, a concerted effort over and over again by by the NATO countries to try to make the Black Sea um, a much more uh, of a NATO presence there in the future. I think, and yeah. that, and, and again, it's all to create the pressures on Moscow. As usual, with great analysis, Mike Malouf, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.